Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and today I have a very different style of video for you all because instead of talking about multiplayer, we're going to be talking about zombies within Black Ops Cold War. I've been playing zombies in Call of Duty since the very beginning, back when initially it was just an easter egg in World at War for completing the single player campaign all the way up until Black Ops 4. Now obviously a lot has changed about the mode over those years, but it always seems to keep fans coming back for more, and tomorrow on September 30th, we're going to be getting the official reveal trailer for zombies within Black Ops Cold War. Now make no mistake, even though I've always been a very casual zombies fan, I'm I'm excited to see what the new story is going to be like, as well as the new characters and the new locations. I have tried time and time again to get into the lore of zombies, but man, it is like really complex. I figured when I first looked into it, that would be pretty simple, like the story of Sniper Elite Nazi Zombie Army, which is a very fun game, by the way, if you guys haven't played it. And in that game, it's pretty simple. It's like, oh yeah, Hitler was about to lose World War II, so he unleashed Project Z upon the world. But after looking into the lore of Call of Duty Zombies, it looks like it goes back to the creation of the universe, and there are space demons, and flying time-traveling worms, and things like that. And I'm just like... Yeah, I'm not really going to look too much more into this. I'm just going to try to get the high rounds and ignore all of that. But we have a new story coming out with Black Ops Cold War. Entirely new universe, I would assume. So that's going to be interesting. And maybe if I'm there from the very beginning, then maybe it's going to make more sense to me. Because I always felt like Zombies and Call of Duty was something that they didn't really think too much about. And then they kind of retroactively went back and filled in all the pieces. And basically made it all up as they went along. I mean, that's probably sacrilege to longtime Zombies fans. But just looking at the lore and the canon of the different maps now everything is supposed to be tied together it's like this is way too complex and super confusing i thought we were just like shooting nazi zombies in fact it was called nazi zombies back when it first came out then they dropped that name because of probably pc reasons but uh yeah I, the story of zombies always been super confusing but now we have a new story coming so maybe it's gonna be a little bit simpler and i'm hoping that's gonna be fun right that's a big thing everyone seems to enjoy zombies every single year that it comes out especially treyarch zombies even if they change up some of the game's mechanics and things like taking out jug or even adding in new perks and things like that people always seem to enjoy Enjoy zombies at the end of the day and I'm excited to see where it's going to go apparently some old school stuff is going to be involved I've heard lots of rumors that transit is going to be coming back for black ops cold war and I think that's awesome and again I know it's sacrilege to say that to zombies fans like if you say you like transit like apparently your opinion is completely invalid to hardcore zombies fans but I thought the idea of an open world zombies map was a lot of fun I enjoyed transit back in the day and a lot of the things that people didn't like about transit were added to the map because of hardware limitations limitations like that's why there was fog everywhere that's why there was lava everywhere and stuff it's because they were so limited by the old xbox 360 and playstation 3 hardware that they couldn't really go super crazy with the map but now this game's being designed for xbox one ps4 xbox series x playstation 5 and of course pc so if transit is returning there's a lot they could potentially do with that and even if they don't bring back transit i do hope that they explore the idea of an open world zombies map again because i think it's a really interesting concept and I also hope that they actually bring back a bunch of things we saw back in Black Ops 4. Like, for example, being able to earn weapon camos in Zombies and then use that camo in multiplayer was a great idea. And having things like reactive camos that you get via the Battle Pass or the in-game store, and then being able to use those reactive camos in Blackout, multiplayer, and Zombies was a really cool concept. I do like the entire progression system that Zombies has now. Back in the day, like even going back to Black Ops 2, where they kind of had a combat record, but it didn't really work all that well, I like stat tracking. I'm, I'm a huge nerd for stats in Call of Duty. I like combat records. I like leveling up and progressing and unlocking different attachments and camos for my weapons in zombies that I can use. Like I remember in Black Ops 3, even Black Ops 4 as well, I would just start up matches. Like, what was it? Voyage of Despair. There was the one end of Voyage of Despair, like at the very edge of the ship where the KN was on the wall. And if I was bored, and especially if I wanted to do some contracts and stuff like that, I would just go on Voyage, go to the end of the ship where it was like very easy to kite, especially on casual mode. And then I would just grab the KN and get tons and tons of kills with it and level it up all the way and unlock all the attachments for it, as well as weapon camos and things like that. Like, progression in Zombies is good. I hope that comes back for Black Ops Cold War. I fully think it's going to. I don't think they're going to try and take a huge step back in that sense. But I wonder what it's going to be like. That's the big question right now. The reveal is tomorrow. And right now we have an idea of what Zombies is going to be like, but we're not really going to know until the trailer comes out and they give us the official reveal and then blog posts and things like that. So it's going to be really 
really interesting for Zombies fans tomorrow. But one problem I do have with Black Ops Cold War Zombies is the game itself, on PC anyway, is not going to be on Steam. It's going to be on Battle.net, right? Previously, Battle.net was just used for Blizzard games like World of Warcraft and StarCraft and Diablo, but recently, they've been putting all of the new Call of Duty games on PC on Battle.net because they think it's going to make them more money, which it may, but the problem with that is, if it's on Battle.net, it's not on Steam, and if it's not on Steam, then the game's not going to have access to the Steam Workshop, which basically means that mod support probably not 99.9% .9 sure will not be returning for Black Ops Cold War. And that's a real shame because custom zombies are incredible. Like custom zombies adds nearly infinite replay value to zombies itself because there are literally thousands of maps that are made by fans for fans. And some of these maps honestly rival Treyarch maps in terms of complexity and design. And I would love to see that return for Black Ops Cold War. Mod support is obviously a very, very good thing to add to a game, but I don't think it's going to happen because it's on Battle.net. I mean, I guess it may happen somehow. I'm not a designer by any stretch of the imagination. I don't know exactly how all this works, but it seems like if it's not going to be on Steam, then mod support isn't going to return, and that's unfortunate because I would love to see custom zombies that are going to be designed with the new generation of hardware in mind. And also, I've always liked the idea of console players getting access to that stuff, right? We're getting kind of off topic with COD here, but what Bethesda did with Fallout 4 is they made it so certain fan-made mods on PC could be transferred over and downloaded on console. So people on console could also play this modded content, which was cool, right? And I think it would be so cool if they were to do that for Call of Duty. If they would make it so fans could make these awesome zombies zombies maps on PC and then port them over to console so people on console could also have access to this nearly infinite replay value of different maps always being released. That would be awesome, right? But I don't think it's going to happen because I'm not sure Black Ops Cold War is going to have mod support. It may, but chances are it's probably not. And all we do know for sure is that the Zombies reveal is tomorrow. And for me personally, I'm excited to see how it's going to go. And I definitely plan to play and stream a lot of Zombies this year. Though, obviously, multiplayer is going to be my top priority, especially during the initial few months of the game being out. I'm going to wrap up today's video with this. Are you guys excited for zombies this year? Because right now we basically know nothing, but the reveal is tomorrow. So I'm interested to see if people are hyped for it. And I'm definitely interested to see how the zombies community is going to respond to what we see tomorrow. I'll likely do another video tomorrow about zombies after the reveal trailer. But until then, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, consider leaving it a like. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.